Welcome back, everyone. So many of us are on a journey to be more sustainable. And did you know that journey can extend to your wine? Wine grapes are extremely sensitive to the changes in temperature and season that come with climate change. And that's why more wineries and distilleries are doing their part. So here to show us what to look for to make sure that we are drinking sustainably is sommelier Renee Svalazza. Hi. How are you, Renee? I have a fun question for you to just kick off the day. Do yeah. you know what this symbol is? It looks like winemaking while there are leaves. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> you know what, that's know. a really good guess, but it's not the right answer. This is the sustainable winemaking symbol for Ontario. Okay. And all of these symbols that you can see on the back of bottles really start to showcase how wines, brew houses, spirit houses are putting into the environment. Now, there are tons of different symbols, even mm -hmm. across the country. Have you seen this one? I have not. This is the certified winemaking symbol for BC. So there's okay. a different one in BC, and it changes around the world. Yeah. To continue on, we have the Certifié Agriculture Biologique. This is in France. I was going to say Alberta, but that's France. That's definitely, it's France. <laughs> yes, the French on the bottom really gives it away. That gave it away a that little bit. That gives it away. Mm -hmm. And there's the vegan certification, which goes across all of Europe. Okay. And finally, we have a global Demeter Biodynamic certification. Hold that up. This is for all agriculture, oh, this one. Oh, so, so it really changes. It really changes, and it can get quite confusing. And yeah. you can see these on the backs of bottles, but not all the time. Okay, so very good. Good to know. Is there always going to be some kind of a symbol on the bottle that indicates sustainability? See, that's the thing. Like, there's so much that wineries, spirit houses, and brew houses can do. There's not really a certification for absolutely everything. Yeah. The other thing is these certifications cost a lot of money. So there's smaller brands that are out there that might not be putting their money into getting the sticker. They'll probably just put into what they can do for, like, climate change action. Yes. And that's really an amazing thing to do. But you can go to their website to find out the footprint of a new product you might be trying. Oh, I love that because it also puts the onus on us to do a little mm -hmm. bit of research because if it is expensive and you're a small winery, that's not where you want to put your resources, right? You want to put your yeah. resources into making it sustainable. So um, all of the drinks you've brought today actually give back to environment to the environment in different ways. Yeah, they're all sustainable in their own way. And yeah. I just want to say that sustainable, it's like environmental, it's people-based, it's looking at the future in a grander way. Okay. So I have everything here from cocktails to wine, very full day. So I have another bit of a game for you. Okay. Okay, so I have a couple symbols here. I have a little sheep. Bah. There we go. Very very cute. I have a little elephant. Yeah, I don't and know what they say. They, uh, they, they make a noise, <laughs> but you can do it if you want to. Uh, <laughs> they have a little bee here. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, I have a water symbol. There we go. So okay. this is for water conservation, and the sheep is for sustainability. Elephant, fairly self-explanatory. Why is the sheep for sustainability? Because I chose it, and this okay. is my game. <laughs> this is my game, and I chose the symbol. You're so beautiful. I sure, I sure did. Okay, so... You can have some help from the audience, but okay. I'm going to give you no clues. You have to put these symbols on top of each of the products for what you think they match, and I'm going to let you know if you win. Okay, so hold on a second. What's the elephant for? Elephants. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> help me, Who audience. Help her because I thought okay, so like let's this. start with the... Wait. You think this goes with the Amarula? That's the sheep. Fine. I'm going to trust them. Okay. What about the bee? Oh, you want the elephant they with the, this? They okay, elephant well, I was going to do the bee because it matches. No, no, no. I'm sorry! <laughs> you have the elephant, it's on there! Okay, is this better? Yeah. Okay, what do I do with this set here? Is it a bee or a sheep? Or a water. Water. Okay. There you go. Whatever, just have conviction and I'm going to follow you. Yes. Okay, what about the red wine? Is it bzzz or bah? <laughs> no, I'm doing my own thing here. All right. There you go. <laughs> All right. And I'm putting the B over here, and I don't know why. There we go. Okay. So these are my choices, and I stand by them until you correct me. Well, you did a great job because you got 50% of them correct. Okay. The Amarula is correct. We're you just... did it! Yes. You did it! Yes. You did the water for the wild duck, but I am actually going to switch it with the B. Uh, oh, which is see, now I wanted to do the B because it matched. goes over here, and it does match. There we go. So now it's okay. correct. But let's okay. dive into this a little bit more. Let's do that. So the amarula is pretty obvious. It's the elephants. This is, is the plant-based <laughs> one. Oh, there's an elephant on the bottle. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't see. I'm so sorry. Okay. I 
I'm sorry. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so <laughs> it's pretty obvious that it's the elephant, but this is the Amarillo plant-based. It's uh -huh. made with coconut milk blended with the Marula fruit wine that it's made Ooh. from. Now, I have a cocktail here, which I'm going to let you get into. This is a matcha rula. It is a chilled version of a matcha latte, great mm. plant-based brunch cocktail. Mm -hmm. But Amarula has their famous Marula trust. Delicious. Elephants eat, oh, fabulous. Mm -hmm. So elephants eat the Marula fruit, and this trust safeguards all African elephants that oh. go towards this. But they also work with the Handwork Empowerment Project Hub, yeah. where they write these wonderful tassels, and they're working with a co-op of businesses that are owned 100% by female black-owned businesses. And wow. they also donate to three major organizations here in Canada. They have the Food Banks of Canada, Second mm. Harvest, and the Canada Trees Edible Trees Foundation. So they're doing a lot. Props to you for remembering all of that. An incredible work being done. This is why I like these conversations, because then we get to know, you know, that these companies are more than just giving you a product. They're doing great things. Okay, over here, what have we so, got? So, Wilda, they give to the bees. This is yeah. a brand new product here in Ontario. It's also at liquor board stores. Uh -huh. And what they do is they make it with Ontario honey and hops. It's low sugar and gluten-free. Oh. And each and every single one of these cans works with the Pollinator Project. Yeah. And every can represents 185,000 wildflowers pollinated by bees. Incredible. Yes. Incredible. Which is awesome. Okay. A little bit one of a harder one here. I'm really mm -hmm. happy you got the sheep. This is yeah. the Gerard Breton wines. Mm. I have their Languedoc Red Blend, which is a Syrah and Grenache. But this is really just a glimpse into what this winery does. They are one of the largest family-owned wineries in all of France. Okay. They have over 20 different lines of wines and six different certifications across them. So wow. organic, biodynamic, the agriculture certificate we had before. Everything is part of it. Yeah. And they're coming out with a new organic line that will be here next year. Beautiful. They range in price from affordable to collectible, but the whole thing is to give back to the earth. Nice. Okay, and last but not least. Last but not least, we have Henry Pelham Estates Winery. You wouldn't think of them as being part of water, but they actually do a lot of water conservation. They okay. were one of the first six wineries certified as sustainable in 2017 in yes. Ontario by the Wine Council. Yeah. And they work to protect the UNESCO World Heritage Site that their winery is on top of with wetland and woodland preservation. That's incredible, Renee. Yes, and I yes, have a little try some. Try sure. some. This is their Cuvée Catherine and their yeah. Baco Noir, but I figured we'd do a cheers for sustainability. Let's do it. Mm. Sustainability tastes very good, everyone. Doesn't it? Yeah. And there's even more news. Henry of Pelham is giving one lucky audience member a $100 gift certificate and a wine tasting for up to six people. And I have, I have this with the names in it. So I'm going to draw, and then I'm going to give you your prize. Who's going to get it? No one tried to bribe me, and you should have. I'm good for the... Oh, oh, so that should put you ahead. Let me see if I pick you. Is it Tracy? No, it's Donna Cook. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Donna Cook! Donna, here you go. Thank you very much. Wine You're going to have a lunch with a few people. You're going to get a beautiful $100 uh, gift certificate. How are you feeling about that? Awesome. Yes. As I said, sustainability tastes good. Let's go to break. We got more coming up, everyone.